Hey everyone, it's Arnie from Fanboys Unite Blogs, Reviews and More. Today I'll be reviewing the Mi Band 3 by Xiaomi. Now, when I first unboxed this device, I did not think of much of the problems that would come up, but a, b a bunch of it did. Now, straight out of the gate, I'm going to tell you something. They boast a 20 day battery life. I can't get this thing to last more than four days. And that's with limited usage, you know, all sorts of technicalities. I got it to last for four days, or else the average lifespan is about two days, and I'm really disappointed with Xiaomi on this front. I thought I could remove I wouldn't have to remove this watch for three, four days at a time because no, not three, four days. About for twenty days or half a month at a time because I can wear it to the bath because the waterproof, okay, the waterproof I'll have to say is an excellent feature, but I thought I'll be able, I wouldn't have to take it off at all for spans of 15 days, but turns out that this heart rate thing destroys your battery life. I have it checked my heart rate once every 30 minutes and that only managed to bring up the battery life to, to, for, to 48 hours. Now I understand the Apple Watch has only an 18 hour battery life and this is providing us with almost three times of that but you have to understand that this is a it has way less functionality than the apple watch so how can that even be a factor when you're comparing the two what the the two fitness bands that has an oled display and has so many factors so of course it's gonna t eat up battery this has no reason to eat up battery but it does i haven't even connected it to bluetooth and i can only get it to work for 48 to, to 60 hours if I turn on Bluetooth, if I'm using every second battery, I could not make it last for an entire day. I promise you, I went to sleep. The next day when I went to sleep, I had to charge it again. It was had reached 0% charge. And that is my main issue about this Mi Band. It does not have battery life and battery life was a key factor for me. So if you're a, if you're big on battery life, I suggest you do not buy the Mi Band 3. Buy the Mi Band HRX or the Mi Band 2. I suggest you buy the Mi Band HRX because... I could get at least 10 days or 5 days, at least 6 to 7 days out of it, which is still pretty good compared to this trash. But let's see the other features which I really enjoyed. Now there's a notification feature, right? You turn on Bluetooth, you connect it to your phone, you can read the notifications on the screen. Also this OLED display is really fun to just swipe around and my, I found my friends feeling like swiping on it for no reason. You know who you are. I um, actually really enjoy this display. Uh, the press and hold feature is also pretty handy. There's a stopwatch. There's a find my device. I found myself using it maybe three or four times. Uh, pretty handy feature. Uh, I think it works really well with something else I have here. Let me just bring it. So this is the Mi Body Composition Scale. It provides you with all your details like body fat percentage, bone mass, muscle mass, all that. And it's really helpful for me. If you'd like a full length review of that, then please let me know in the comments down below. But um, what I meant to say is that I have a Xiaomi watch, a Xiaomi weighing scale, a Xiaomi phone. So I'm actually pretty tucked into the Xiaomi environment and I wouldn't want to leave anytime soon. And I'm actually really enjoying being in the environment. So if you'd like me to give my experiences on being in the Xiaomi environment, I'd make a video about that too. Just let me know what you guys want me to make my videos about in the comments. Okay, so let me get to more features of this watch. Now the heart rate is pretty accurate and I've found. Uh, so I was pretty impressed with that and um, it gives you steps everything that it uh, used to give you earlier um, and the more section has a pretty but it's pretty cool feature like the stopwatch you can toggle your silent you can have a fine device feature and you can change your watch screen in the more area now few more features that I would like to talk about okay I bought it at 2000 rupees 1999 uh, Indian rupees I don't know how much it retails in your country, but here in India, it does retail at 2,000 rupees. I think for the price, it's still a pretty good watch, uh, but I did get irritated a lot by the battery life problems. I did not expect this from Xiaomi. At least if you're going to give you, me a shitty battery life, at least mark it, don't market it as a 20-day battery life when you cannot provide a tenth of that. Um, that was my review, you guys. I would give this device a solid, solid 7 on 10. And... Um, I would suggest you buy it if but if you're okay with charging your watch every few days, every one or two days. And if you... Uh, one more issue that I've heard about this is that when you're in sunlight, it's harder to see the screen. But I have not experienced this, so I cannot tell you if that's true or not. 
and I have actually been in the sunlight for the past few days and I have not experienced this issue. This bright light can get quite annoying if you remove the watch. I don't know why it's not turning off and it's eating my battery like a dog. Um, if you turn off the HR, you can get a higher battery life, but again, you have to be compromising on the HR part, which I think is the main reason to buy this watch. I don't know. Those are my thoughts. I give you a seven. I think you you can you should definitely buy it if you're into fitness, but you and you don't mind charging your watch a lot. But if you're here for the battery life, please get the HRX or the Mi Band Two. Both are still excellent alternatives to this watch. Thank you for watching, you guys. Let me know what what you want to know in the comments below. I'll be reviewing Venom next, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.